What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to Scoutstar MTB. Been a little quiet recently with all this COVID-19 nonsense going on, so I haven't really put out any new vlogs. But things are starting to quiet down now, so I'm getting back up and going. Today's going to be a little different for me because it is a special day. It is new bike day. Yes, check it out. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a little unboxing for you, a couple of little time lapses and maybe a little blast around my local. So let's check it out. So the bike's built, frame protection's on, battery's charged, it's now time for the test ride. I've come here to my local which is Delamere Forest. Trails aren't particularly long but if you know where to look there's a few little good sections to find. Also I've got Phil riding with me today, it's a new bike day for Phil as well. Say hello Phil. Hello boys. Tell us about the bike lad. So we've got the new Hello Dave on one, it's a aggressive hard tail, 29 inch wheels. Uh, plus size rims. Uh, we're going to Shram GX drive train, uh, Shram guide RE brakes, which we use for the e bikes, which are part of 160 uh, row to rear, making front. Uh, really slack geometry setup, long frame, so we'll see how it rides today. Should be good. Nice and aggressive, lad. Looks decent. I'm loving the colour on it, Lee. Looking forward to it, like. So, now it's time to show you my bike. For the Commensal Meta Power SX, got the signature model, so it's full Fox Factory, Kashima all over, the full XT drivetrain, 180 mil travel front and rear, Shimano XT brakes, four pots. It's looking sweet. Can't wait to give it a blast. So, let's crack on, yo. So I'm pretty much just gonna be taking it easy for today, getting used to the bike. Seeing how it rides, how it handles, tweaking air pressures. That's you then, lads. Take it slow, see what the lines are like. <laughs> so this trail's called Badgers. Nice little 
gaff jump there though. new stuff here. Decent. What? Decent. Oh. Badges is back there. That was good though. I didn't even get on top of the double and I went to hit it. It was just like, ah. Yeah, it's big like. Oh, I guess I don't need to push up anymore now, do I? I can just pedal up. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. <laughs> so many new runs here. Can't say I've ridden any of them backwards though. <laughs> With such little effort. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> I've just left Phil for dead. <laughs> I bet I can get a run in before he even gets to the top. Where is this going? Looks like a natural stopping point. Oh wow, there's loads of stuff down there. I'm having fun already. thing just feels planted. <laughs> just cruising up, up trails. <laughs> There's loads of stuff. New lines like up over there. Yeah. Looks sick, lad. Need a double and then. I've left Phil have a go on my e-bike and I'm on his hardtail. I already missed the battery power. Need that assist. Need that boost mode. Bye. So we're gonna go over and check out another little section. It's like a bike specific part over on Manly Hill. Like a four cross trail, a couple of little off piece trails in there. So here we go. So it disappeared down this big rut section called No Brains. Nice. Guess I'm hard tailing it down. So much for my test ride. This guy with no more gun, I've got fucking shit in my eyes. Did you just launch through a Yeah. Your hardtail flies, man. It's decent, isn't it? Yeah. 
Looks planted like. Feels so super quick like. Once you get rolling it's just fun. Yeah. And 29 wheels. Can't keep up with me babe. And that was just nice and comfortable like. Uh, Still got it, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> oh, I love that shit. <laughs> Collecting fans on my way down. <laughs> you went the wrong way, lad. Nice. The chain come off or you broke it? Yeah. So Phil's got a puncture on his bike. So I'm going to have to blast it all the way back to the car. You alright? Oh yeah. I'm going to have to blast it all the way back to the car in boost mode. Just to get him a spare in a tube. Which I'd just like to say would never happen without a bloody e-bike. This thing is amazing. Are you right? So Phil's had his little test ride, he's made up with his new bike. Gotta say it does look pretty decent, like I love the colour on it. And for an aggressive hardtail, it's definitely a nice bike. Seems to handle really all everything that I was doing as well, so good all around it. Anyway, he's packed up and done. Had his fill of his new bike, so I still got two bars of battery. So I travelled over to another little spot in Delamere. It's called Old Pale. 
like a little section of trails that people have built in the woods. There used to be three of them. I think there's only two now because the forestry have felled a load of stuff. Hope I don't get run over here. Yeah, it's real busy over here at Delamere. Normally at this point of the day, I would be absolutely goosed, just like Phil is, and how Phil has gone home. I probably would have gone home before him, being that tired. It's hard work in Delamere, pushing up, doing multiple runs. They grind on you after a while, but I've still got energy left. Still got battery left. Still got boost mode. <laughs> And I'm doing more. This section we're heading to now, Old Pale. It's got a bit of a hefty fire road climb all the way to the top. So trying to smash out multiple runs in one day is just too hard. Like you only get like three or four. And then I'm normally done by then if I can even squeeze three out. But after being out all day long, multiple runs and multiple trails. I'm still coming over here for this big climb. And it's breezy, absolutely breezy in boost mode. Seriously can't recommend e-bikes enough, you know. I'm absolutely loving this. Absolutely loving it. Yep. Dusty burns. Oh, this bike is handling everything and more. Fucking love it. Uh, so I'm chancing my luck a little bit here. I've been on one bar of battery for a while now. So for that last climb, or this climb that I'm on now, I've added in eco mode instead of boosting it around everywhere. Feels just like pedaling a normal bike to be fair. You know Hopefully, battery lasts me long enough to get me back to the car. Right, dropping in for one final run down Pale Hill. Alright, love. Oh, 
completely offline then. Good little run there. It's a shame it's so far away from all the other trails in Delamere. So, first impressions of the bike absolute monster. This thing just eats up terrain. Like the Fox 36 on the front and the DHX too on the back just make it feel like a downhill bike it's crazy climbed super well as well done so many runs today so yeah I'm a big advocate of these e-bikes Just getting back to the car and literally this second the battery just died on me so i'd say that worked out proper sweet literally like seven pedal strokes from the car oh, it's been a good test ride today thoroughly enjoyed the e-bikes of the future man